Now, moving on now, following the heavy clampdown on protesters calling for the release of Omuyole Showaré, convener of the hashtag Revolution Now movement, the group behind Tuesday's protest maintains that it will not be cowed or be forced to go into hiding. Addressing journalists in Abuja Wednesday, the group which described as unacceptable the Nigerian government's zero tolerance to voices of dissent said it remains resolute in the call for Showaré to be granted bail having met the bail conditions. That goes wrong under his watch. It's just like the same way that we hold the leadership of the National Assembly responsible for whatever goes wrong in the National Assembly. That is how we hold President Mwadu Kwari accountable for all ills that are perpetrated by his government. He is the one that is telling the DSS not to allow Shore and Mandate to be released. He is the one that is telling them to continue to obey the Subic valid court orders. He is the one that has made sure that people who the courts have severally said that should be set free are not free. The National Assembly has been captured. Labor Union has been suppressed. NBA is not talking. Even the CSOs have been divided. One thing I want to say is this. We are gradually, if not totally, in a fascist state. The Ninth National Assembly is an enabler of fascism. The Ninth National Assembly has failed the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Instead of fighting for the rights of Nigerians, they are siding with tyranny to oppress and to gag us. The judiciary is no longer the last hope of the common man. The social media is the last hope of the common man. None of us will be proud to call ourselves Nigerians. It is important that this single story narrative that the government is trying to force down our throat, that protest and uh, mass demonstrations should not be part of our culture as a people, must be resisted, hook, line, and sinker. Because we are seeing this protest yield results in other parts of the world. The president of Bolivia has just been forced to resign, simply because an election was deemed not credible by the people of Bolivia. Now, the attack by DSS personnel of protesters and journalists will cover the sit-out of the headquarters of the security agency has continued to attract widespread condemnation from Nigerians and rights groups.